Hello everyone. So today we are going to do the gaming review of the Micromax Canvas 2 Plus and we are going to begin with the less intensive games. Let's begin with Temple Run. As you can see that there is no lag whatsoever in playing the game even though the game is very fast paced. And you can see the touch screen response as well. It's pretty quick. So that's enough of Temple Room. Now we move on to another game. It's my last mission. a new game, Frontline Commando. We were and we we'll just see the intro boss. It's a third person shooter. Alright, here we go. As you can see here too, while moving the character as well as panning across, there is no lag. We are getting great frame rates due to the Power VRS GX544 MP chipset that is found in the Canvas 2 Plus. You can also see that there are no drop frames or any stutter while the game is being played. Alright, so we move to the next game now. Now we are going to play Raging Thunder 2. And I'm just playing this game so that you can see that the accelerometer of the device works. So the game doesn't need much resources, but it does make good use of the accelerometer. So that's enough of Raging Thunder. Now we go to a more popular game. It's Dead Trigger. The objective of this game is to kill zombies who have infiltrated your city. Again the same thing, you can see that there is no lag while panning or moving. And unlike Raging Thunder 2, this is a very demanding game.
right now we'll play real football 2012 let's start a quick match Our camera does go out of focus sometimes. It's because the lighting changes on the display of the phone. We should keep a lookout here to see if there are any dropped frames. He sent it down the pitch, Ferdinand. Ball makes its way. He's well in. Neil Mill will be quite a surprising result here. Oh well, and that's good. So, as you could see, that there were no drop frames and the game played flawlessly. And finally, we have Asphalt 7, which is the most demanding of all the games that we showed today. I'm using on-screen controls and not the accelerometer so that I can show you the actual game much better. As you can see for yourself, the shadows overwrite, everything works great and there is no lag whatsoever while the game is playing big. So that's the gaming review of the Micromax A110Q Camelus 2 Plus. If you have anything to ask us or want to add to the review, just write in the comment section below. And also do visit homebench.com. Thank you and have a great day.